<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to RPG Alliance Convention's Game Master video series and I'm here with one of my favorite players and Game Master's Jian Yang. Jian, you're going to be running a really interesting, and I have to say because I've played it, everyone is John. Tell us a little bit about that game and why you chose it. Okay, so uh, Everyone is John is a game created by Michael B. Sullivan. Uh, it's actually been around for a little while, a couple years. Um, the b best way to describe it is basically, uh, it's like, it's a whimsical game, it's, uh, it's a competitive game, and uh, players assume the roles of voices inside this single character's uh, head is, whose name can be John or Jane or Joe or whoever it is you uh, y'all decide to name them and um, yeah and they compete to finish their obsessions. What kind of obsessions, Gian? <laughs> obsessions that are defined by the player which can be really uh, as wacky as you want it to be. Uh, so it could be, uh, for example, um, I want John to lock the door every single time he passes through a door, right? Or it could be as simple as uh, I want to high five everyone I meet. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you high five me today. Is that why? Because you're playing John. John, I met you as a player. We start playing Vampire the Masquerade, and we've been playing together for at least a year. I know you're really into playing in a lot of different community games. Tell me the games you like to play. I like to play the kind of games that um, are kind of a little bit more personal, a little bit more character focused. Um, and um, not super bogged down by mechanics, uh, com uh, complexity. I, I mean, I've tried games such as uh, Shadowrun. Mm -hmm which is a very mechanically complex game. Um, wasn't my, really my cup of tea. But uh, games like Vampire, which is very uh, character driven, um, I really enjoy. And, and uh, I've also played uh, a game called uh, Star Wars Edge of the em Empire, uh, which, is, um, which is a really fun game. <laughs> yeah. You introduced me to Apocalypse. That was a fun game. Can you just maybe just give us an idea about Apocalypse? So the name is Apocalypse World. Ah! Um, it's a uh, it's a game that's uh, the system is very uh, character driven. So um, players are encouraged to kind of uh, create the world with the DM. Um, in the first session and the DM is actually encouraged to go into the game with as little prep as possible and uh, get ideas from the players as to how the how the plot is unfolding. Mm -hmm. Obviously I mean the DM is still there or actually in this game he's called the master of ceremonies. Mm -hmm. um, he is still there to to make sure that the game is run in a logical and um, a fun way right no, I'm um, encouraged to throw in twists and turns, but um, it's really very cooperative, this game. I'm really looking forward to seeing you run. Everybody is John, having played in your playtest, which is a lot of fun. But as a GM, you also get to play games. So what game have you chosen to play in this year's RPG? I've actually signed up for a game called uh, In the Light of a Ghost Star. Um, honestly, I have not heard about this game, uh, which is, I think, I think part of the fun of coming to RPG Alliance Con is to try out new games. And uh, I really look forward to getting into it. Thank you, Gian, for coming to our Game Masters video profile. You're one of my favorite players. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks. We're going to be having our RPG Alliance convention on October 20th at Dickens Pub. We're here at Zero Issue Brewing today, so thank you to them for giving us this great venue to shoot our series. If you want tickets, go check out tabletopevents.com. Uh,
look for RPG Alliance Convention. And don't forget, we have two programs, each of four hours. So for the price of $7.45 American dollars, you can play two four-hour RPG games. We're going to have lots of prizes from publishers, uh, Mongoose Publishing, Modiphius Entertainment, and our vendors are each bringing door prizes. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you at the con. I guess I have to be the one to tell you. You're dead. You're obviously new to this whole existence, but truth is, most of you types won't even make it a whole year. We have one rule. You don't break the masquerade. <laughs> Fighting over scraps here. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your death. Having fun yet?